It's the kind of place the next big idea comes from. This is 500 Startups, a so-called apps incubator in the heart of Silicon Valley. On any given day, scores of young designers and computer scientists from all over the U.S. and the world are hard at work developing applications for smartphones. Dave McClure helped start up 500 Startups. I guess we're a little bit of a zoo for geeks, but we're kind of a combination between uh, maybe Business School 2.0, and a lab for cooking up uh, the latest and greatest software projects. These are cards all made by actual users. At one yeah. workstation, Ketan Anjaria has an app for creating and exchanging virtual business cards. So what, what's great is you can change your colors at any time. So let's find a, maybe a blue that matches the Al Jazeera. There's a, that's a good one. A little darker maybe? A little darker, sure. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing, you can change this at any time. Yeah. So the kids can do, identify, oh, this is plastic, organic, in another corner, Manolo Diaz shows off a children's game he invented. The idea of the game is that there are bad guys polluting the planet, mm. so we want to teach kids uh, how to recycle. The app economy is growing incredibly fast. A new study estimates there are nearly half a million jobs in the U.S. alone for app designers and others. Just five years ago, there were none. Last year, apps generated about $20 billion in revenue in the U.S., $3.5 billion in the U.K., and more than $5 billion in India. Last month, Facebook purchased the photo-sharing app Instagram for $1 billion. So the Instagram deal was worth a $1 billion. I would not be surprised if you see other mobile software companies sell for more than that, if not this year, in the coming years. Of course, a lot of the apps out there are frivolous. Drinking game apps, apps to help guys pick up girls, apps to help girls get out of dates with boring guys. And lots of addictive time wasters. If you, say, have a t uh, CT scan, so but there are also thing. apps that allow people uh, to manage chronic here, disease and you can see the real time uh, or help farmers in developing countries lift themselves out of poverty. Somewhere in a place like this, a brave new app is being born, perhaps to change the world or just to pass the time. Bob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Mountain View, California.